My name is Lindsay Pyle. I am the Parks and Trails Director here in Somerset County. Today we are at Somerset Lake Nature Park in Somerset County. Behind me you can see the boat launch and we are at the start of the Somerset Lake Nature Park Trail. The lake has been drained since 2012 and it has been deemed a high hazard lake. So they are working on construction of uh, redoing the dam and hopefully within the next year the lake is filled back up and everybody is able to fish and boat with a trail surrounding the lake. of the Somerset Lake Nature Park Trail here in Somerset County. This is the beginning of the current 1.5 mile trail. We recently constructed this trail. Before it was heavily treed, lots of shrubs, and we had a group of volunteers as well as county inmates and county staff to clear the trail from the heavy brush and trees. When designing this trail, we worked with a local engineering company to make sure that the trail was as perfect as possible. We wanted to avoid steep slopes to make sure it was ADA accessible. We wanted to avoid wetlands for cost, and we wanted to avoid taking down any large trees because of the bald eagles and the ospreys. On your left, you can see that there is scrub brush currently, but the lake is going to come up to this point. So as you can see on your left, where the scrub brush is located, that's where the water is going to be. There are many local trails in Somerset County. This is going to be the first county owned park in the area. On your right, there's lots of nice shade trees where you can possibly see um, different types of birds. On your left, there is a nice grove of hemlocks. If you're lucky, you can spot a bald eagle. The hemlocks provide a nice shade along the trail for a nice cool walk. If you continue past the grove of hemlocks, you will see several lake views on your left hand side. The trail surface is made of several different types of limestone. Um, there's bigger limestone on the bottom and then it gets up to crushed gravel on top for a smooth compact surface. The slope is all within a 5% grade to ensure that it is ADA accessible for everyone to use and enjoy. Most trails in the area aren't as easy, so this is going to be a very nice trail um, to take your family on for a nice evening walk or in the morning. We are at the end of the Somerset Lake Nature Park Trail here in Somerset County. The goal is to have a five mile trail around the entire lake. And that depends on how much grant funding we receive. We're working on the next 0.4 mile section of trail and continuing on from that each year, we hope to do additional work. It just depends on how much grant funding we have available and how many donations we receive. Depending on how many stream crossings there are, that will determine the cost of the project as well as tree removal and any boulders or any other thing that is in the way. In addition to the Somerset Lake Nature Park, we also manage the Great Allegheny Passage and the September 11th National Memorial Trail. Let's head there. My name is Kathy McCollum. I'm chairman of the board of the Somerset County Recreation and Trails Association. We work with Somerset County, the commissioners and the other elected bodies to ensure that the recreation and amenities and trails throughout the county are maintained, promoted and actively used. We're standing here at, the, at Garrett at the Great Allegheny Passage. It goes 150 miles connecting Washington DC ultimately and Pittsburgh. The Great Allegheny Passage portion, the 150 miles, ends in Cumberland, Maryland where it picks up the CNO Canal towpath and goes another 180 miles to Washington DC. 
But right here in the center of Somerset County, at the Garrett Trailhead, the Great Allegheny Passage will also connect someday with another familiar named trail, the 9-11 Trail. So Somerset County is a wonderful place to visit to go on a trail, either heading from here to Washington, D.C., or from here to Pittsburgh. And along the way, you can stop and explore the small communities of Somerset County, where they'll take care of all of your needs while you're along the trail. Hopefully, you'll come to visit us soon and enjoy the Great Allegheny Passage and in the near future, the 9-11 Trail. The Great Allegheny Passage, like many trails around the country, was developed on an abandoned railroad track. That opportunity really has allowed this trail in particular, because of its great length, to experience for the cyclist multiple structures up and down the trail. I think that's one of the most interesting parts of the Great Allegheny Passage experience. You have viaducts. You have tunnels. You have really high bridges passing over spectacular rivers. Uh, just like you would if you had taken the original train ride between Pittsburgh and Cumberland, Maryland, you would have seen these things. Now you can see them up close and personal. Like we're walking now into a tunnel and you can immediately hear and feel the difference. It's a hot day in the tunnel, it's about 20 degrees cooler. There are 39 such structures in Somerset County's portion of the Great Allegheny Passage, including an incredibly high bridge that we call the Salisbury Viaduct and very long tunnel, the Big Savage Tunnel that passes through a very large mountain in the Laurel Highlands. Have to experience it to really appreciate it. a short on-road portion through Garrett to this trailhead where it will eventually take you to Shanksville to the Flight 93 National Memorial. From where we were just at, at the beginning of the rail bed, we are now at the end of the September 11th National Memorial Trail in Somerset County. Behind me is the Route 219 Buffalo Creek Bridge. To my left is the September 11th National Memorial Trail down the hill. Eventually, whenever we get additional grant funds, we will continue the trail into Berlin and eventually into Shanksville at the Flight 93 National Memorial. mentioned, structures are a big attraction along the Great Allegheny Passage. One of the largest structures within Somerset County is the Salisbury Viaduct. visiting Somerset County Parks and Trails with me today. For more information, please visit skirta.org. We hope to see you out on the trails. <laughs>